for battle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. Weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. Headliner of the first eight WrestleManias. Count them, eight. Oh, check out those pythons, Cole. It looks like Hulk's ready to headline eight more WrestleManias. Let's see, I said my prayers, I took my vitamins this morning. Guys, I think I'm on the right track. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 226 pounds, Sal Boone. Now this is a superstar who can breathe new life into this crowd. They were already alive, Cole. I don't know how this superstar is going to do anything to change that into being more alive. Yeah, Corey, but the fearless and daring behavior we see from this superstar brings the WWE Universe to an entirely new level. Consequences, he faces the wrath of Hulkamania. And not many superstars have been able to say they've survived that wrath. You can feel the electricity fill the air when Hulk Hogan's in the ring. Hulkamania is running wild, Michael. It would be hard for us to find anyone in the WWE locker room who hasn't been influenced by Hulk Hogan. He's the perfect combination of charisma, physique, and power. Truly a living legend. Well said, Byron. I expect Hulkster's power is going to be on display here tonight. And he is up against someone who is determined to get the win here, no matter what. As both men should be, Saxton. If you're not trying to win, you're not trying. Period. You know, Corey, some could say that Hulk Hogan is somewhat predictable when the bell rings. Do you think it would be wise for him to possibly change things up tonight? Absolutely not, Cole. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't fix what ain't broken. The Hulkster knows what he's doing here. The Hulkster should stick to his patented offense tonight. He's been placed in the corner now. Running leg lariat in the corner. Beautiful. And here we go now. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. What a counter by Hogan. Oh. Hogan delivers the big boot. The Hulkster hitting that with a shocking amount of force. Hogan out the ropes. Wait, wait, what, what, what's going on here? Well, he's confused. And I guess he should be. Where is he? Well, that's what we're all wondering right now, Michael. We got a match going on. His Look music is playing out. Behind. There he is. Oh, my gosh. Elbow drops. To the solar plexus. 
and a little disrespect for dessert. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. And Hogan continuing the charge. And this is the result of that patented Hulk Hogan offense. Hulk knows what he's doing here. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. The sound of this crowd is down the apron. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Against him here. The Hulkamaniacs are propelling the Hulkster forward. Delivered into the barricade. And Hogan gets stonewalled. These two having an answer for everything. He climbs into the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. This could be big. Going up from the top. All the way to the outside. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal of the metal right now. it up. Big power slam. Into the barricade. Come on. No one likes a count out. Fall off with an elbow. Devastating kick. Ooh, DDT. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Ended this one. Cover! Two! What a gutsy performance. And that has to be a damper on Hulk's spirit. But I don't think he's about to let up on him now. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swing. There's a slam. We know what comes next. Holds Hogan back. The Hulkster continues to survive. The move, it's over. It goes Hogan. The Hulkster could have this one. Things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. Guys, let's not be biased here. They won fair and square. Sure, if there is apparently a new definition of the term fair and square, having a little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill.